How do you go from zero to one million a year in any service-based business? Well, I've done that with multiple of my businesses and helped clients do that uh, dozens, if not hundreds of times. So I'm gonna tell you in this video now, just to define a service-based business. I mean, this can, what I'm gonna tell you, you can apply to a software as a service, but you know, mainly what I'm talking about is coaching, consulting, agencies, and I would even say like home services, uh, anything that's just a service, right? It could be really an in-person service, online service, but basically a service-based business or even a higher ticket software this would apply to. So how do you do it? Well, I break down, uh, if you watch some of my other videos, break down really the path to zero to 30 million a year, which is where we're at now with our company, and then eventually even 100 million a year, which is really just my hypothesis at this point. I break all that down into five steps, five stages. And that was heavily inspired by uh, Mark Ford, who was the author, pen name Michael Masterson of Ready, Fire, Aim. But uh, the first stage is really all about going from zero to a million. So what do you do? Number one thing is developing what's called your optimal selling system. So your optimal selling system is two things. Number one is a validated offer. So what do I mean by a validated offer, especially with a service-based business? It really fits three criteria. You have to have a specific problem that you're solving for a specific person, and you have to have a specific way that's unique, different, superior than the status quo of the marketplace that you're solving it, right? So specific problem, specific person, specific way. And the specific way, again, is unique, different, and superior than what else is out there in the marketplace, okay? So what's the antithesis of this? What you don't want is to be everything to everybody, to just kind of like, you know, fix 900 different things based on the clients that come to you. You know, the, pe the people who are the most suspect to this are full service agencies, right? So what they do, and, and you know, full service can work and it can scale 100% if you're doing corporate, you know, but generally it's, it's, it's a lot tougher. Um, so while it can work with corporate fortune, 100, 500 companies, I mean, obviously like Gary Vee's stuff is, you know, his agency is very successful and he's a service based, or uh, he's a full service agency. But generally, you know, for the average SMB mid-market agency, it's much better to solve a specific problem for a specific person, specific way. So what's an example? You know, I have a client who revives dead customer lists and customer segments for DTC commerce brands over a million through a reactivation campaign. Specific problem, specific person, specific way. I also, in my company, we staff setters and closers for high ticket businesses, high ticket service-based online businesses. And we do it completely done for you and guaranteed. That the way is not that great, but it's such a straightforward offer with a good promise and social proof that I don't really need much of a unique, different, superior thing. Plus, we're the category king, so it's it's hard. It doesn't. You know, there's not a huge need to differentiate. But if I wanted to, I could talk about where we're getting the sales reps. I could talk about the vetting process, the, how bigger distribution is. I could talk about the speed, right? So I could do all those things. So, anyways, that's the number one thing you need. Now, when is your offer validated? Well, when you have the the three S formula, which I just mentioned, and when you've sold it at least yourself, that that the, you know the new productized offer that you have, you've sold it at least yourself a couple dozen times. That's very very key. Now, something else that's important is that not only does having that 3S formula, problem, person, way, right? Not only does that help you be more compelling in the market and have almost a better niche, so to speak, but what it also does. So it, you know it's easier for cold acquisition, but even more importantly it eliminates operational complexity at scale because since you're solving the same problem for the same person the same way every single time, what happens is it creates like a conveyor belt. So it productizes your fulfillment and makes it very, very easy for you to scale up. And so not only is it easier for you to run ads or do cold email or cold calling or whatever acquisition you're trying to do because it's so specific, at the same time, it makes it easier to scale because it's productized. So Part of the optimal selling system, again, stage one, zero to a million, is getting that offer in place. The second part is twofold, right? And that's really getting your customer acquisition in place, which is twofold. Number one is developing a consistent, predictable, repeatable, scalable way to gener generate interest, to generate leads. That could be sales calls, that could be opt-ins, you know, however you want to define leads for your company. The other one is a consistent, repeatable, scalable, predictable way to turn that interest into customers, right? So that's your conversion. Now, you know, in the companies I service, obviously the interest is the sales calls and the conversion is closing the sales call, right? 
So it's generating sales calls, doing the sales calls. But you know, it could be generating opt-ins and then the, the conversion could be a webinar, for instance. Hey guys, we'll get back to the content in a second, but I have a quick favor to ask. We don't run any ads or really do a lot of promotions on this channel at all, but the one thing that would really help us out if you're getting value from this is if you could share it on your socials. So specifically sharing it on your Instagram story through a screenshot or just pressing share and really sharing it on any platform. The main way we plan to grow this isn't through ads, it's through word of mouth. So if you're getting value, that's the one thing you could do. Make sure you tag me on Instagram at Cole Thomas Gordon. And with that said, back to the content. So that's the other thing. now. One of uh, the people I looked up, look up to in the space, Alex Mosey, I heard him say one time that there's six ways to generate interest. There's earned media, owned media, affiliates, paid media, word of mouth referrals, and uh, cold outbound, I believe, right? In my experience, any of those can be the consistent, repeatable way you generate interest. But if you're just starting off, and let's say you know, you're a younger entrepreneur, or beginning entrepreneur, the most ways I see people do it almost every single time is either gonna be cold outbound or paid media, and to be honest, paid media. Now that's not to say you could not build a huge YouTube channel and have that be the way you acquire customers. That's not to say you could create a strategic relationship or you know a dozen strategic relationships and have that be your entire predictable way. But just from generally what I've seen, paid media is always gonna be the number one. It's just the easiest, lowest barrier to entry easiest to get started, especially if you're just starting off and you have no relationships in your industry or cold outbound, which is a little bit tougher than paid media, but definitely possible as well. But the big thing with how you generate interest is it has to be like, if you notice how I said, repeatable, predictable, scalable, consistent. So what I mean by that is it has to be a way where you can put more inputs into a system and get more outputs. So for instance, like the issue with somebody who maybe generates a little bit of interest because they have 10K Instagram followers, is like they may be able to like kind of get some calls, kind of get some calls, kind of get some leads here, kind of get some leads here, but it's inconsistent and they can't really have a predictable way to put in more inputs and get more outputs. Whereas like cold outbound, you can generate more leads, hire more salespeople, make more tiles, get more, get more sales calls. Paid media, more spend, more sales calls, right? Affiliates, more affiliate partners, more sales calls. See what I mean? So um, that's the big thing that a lot of times own media, earn media falls short of. Now, if you're Graham Steven, you have 5 million subs or however many, however many subs, sure, that's gonna be predictable for a while. You know, like he's, he could really push a lot. So the key thing is, is you have to have that thing to where it's more inputs equal more outputs. And I see a lot of people maybe get to a millionaire or like 50 to 100K a month range, but they get stuck and they get plateaued. And it's because they, they have some ability to organically generate some calls, right? Or organically generate some interest. Maybe that's word of mouth referrals, some own media, some earned media, but it's just not like enough to really up the inputs to get more outputs. And it doesn't become this conveyor belt, right? The same way you want your fulfillment to be a conveyor belt and a system, you need your acquisition to be a system as well. Otherwise, you're never gonna be able to remove yourself from your company and really never gonna be able to systematically scale it, right? So. Inputs have to equal the outputs. And that's why paid media and cold outbound is, I, I just find it the easiest to get started with because it's easy to systematize those above, above all else. Now, the second part is you have to be able to convert those sales calls into clients or convert that interest predictably into buyers. So the big thing here, now, if you have one to, a one-to-many approach, a sales page, webinar, whatever, you know, th this is not really gonna matter because you're, going to do it once and then it's going to run automatically. But for the majority of companies we work with, service-based companies, there's some sort of sales process or sales call. So what you have to eliminate here in this step is what's called founder syndrome. So founder syndrome is the belief that only I can sell my thing. You know, my thing is so complicated, my market, you know, this and that, only I can sell my thing. And while that's not true, it's almost like saying that like the doctor who let's say discovered Lyme disease is the only doctor who can diagnose and prescribe Lyme disease. Like you see how like idiotic that is with any sort of thing you're selling, right? There is as long as the offer, again, follows that 3S formula. Like if you're a full service agency doing everything for everybody, yeah, you're gonna have this issue because there's no systemization. You're just sort of like using your knowledge willy nilly of and just trying to sell whatever you think they're gonna buy. But if the offer is productized, specific problem, specific person, specific way, then what's gonna happen is there's gonna be two to three buckets, okay? 
two to three buckets in which every single prospect's pains or problems are gonna fall into. Like, you know, like for us, some people need setters, some other people need closers, some people need to increase the closing rate of their sales team, some people need more leads, right? Like that, that's all it comes down to a lot of times. So you see which ones these buckets fall into, and then you create a diagnostic process for each of the buckets, right? Okay, if they come on, they need this, then here's the line of questioning we're gonna to use to diagnose what the real problem is and how we can help the person. And then the same thing is like, the same way there's a consistent and repeatable diagnostic process, there's a consistent repeatable prescription process, which is obviously your pitch, All right? So it's like for this problem, we explain our solution in this way. So you see how like when you do it that way, you can systematize it. But if you don't do it, you're gonna be suspect to founder syndrome and you're gonna be the one stuck on the phones, which is not only exhausting, but you know, you're really a salesperson, not an entrepreneur at that point, right? You don't have a real business. Now, once you have these things in place, okay? Validated offer that's productized and that follows that 3S formula. So, you know, it's gonna work with the cold traffic and it's gonna be able to scale operationally. And you have a consistent, repeatable, scalable way to generate the interest and convert the interest. Now you finally have your optimal selling system. And I'm telling you guys, once you have this in place, what you're going to experience is very, very fast growth. A lot of times a you know, company will be at 30 to 40K a month, word of mouth referrals, and then they just skyrocket to 200 grand a month, 300 grand a month, really, really quickly. And uh, then their bottleneck, actually their constraint is alleviated in terms of it being lead generation. And now their constraint is usually fulfillment team and they go into phase two, uh, which maybe I'll make another video about. So hopefully you guys found that helpful.